In the north of Argentina, the vast Altiplano. This region is known as the Puna. It is as visually stunning as it is difficult to live in. It is dry and remote and at high altitude. In winter, temperatures drop to 10 degrees below zero. During the day, scorching heat. This region is hundreds of kilometers along dusty roads from urban centers. Cell phones have no signal here. These are small villages out of sight, but they're known as the solar villages. Here they use solar energy with innovative technology. <laughs> Presentacion Sanchez is the mother of five. Here she's cooking for her family on a cooker that uses just the sun's heat. These cookers can last for over 10 years, but cost what a family would spend on gas in just three years. Nosotros somos un grupo de técnicos independientes que empezamos a ver las necesidades de energía en una región que eh, el gas es muy poco accesible y la leña no es renovable porque tienen tanto tiempo de plazo para el crecimiento que pasa a ser un recurso no renovable. For over two decades, Silvia Rojo and the team have been working here, finding solutions for the local population. Together, they form the non-government organization Eco Andina that oversees projects in the region. Aquí en esta región tenemos uno de los seis lugares del planeta con mayor radiación solar y eso hace como si fuera un barril de petróleo de 190 litros por cada metro cuadrado por toda la extensión de toda la región. Es como un mar de energía. At the Eco Andina base, they heat up water for tea and coffee in the morning using the same technology that they've brought to the region. Simplemente la que sea más fácil de asimilar por las poblaciones, la que sea más durable en el tiempo y más económica para, para que la puedan eh, adquirir la, la gente y solucionar la vida por mucho tiempo. Here we're at over 4,000 meters altitude. The sun is strong, the air is very thin. Now with a population of just over 100 in the valley below is San Juan Ioros, which is one of the first solar villages in this region. This is on the National Highway 40. Just two buses a day pass through this village. It's a tough existence here. Families live a subsistence life, searching and scouring for firewood, for heating and cooking. Access to water is limited, but solar energy has transformed their lives. As well as the individual cookers, they now have electricity from solar panels, as the entire village is now linked up. Eco Andina has also helped provide basic resources in order to build a greenhouse for the local village and school. Este invernadero hicimos el año pasado en agosto y es muy bueno para los chicos y verduras frescas. Y después las plantas se están dando bien, se da lechuga, tomate, tenemos perejil, cebolla, frutillas y las acelgas. Presentación works at the local school that has 10 students from the age of 3 to 12. The water comes from a cistern that was built with the help of the company Alliance, which also helped to install these hot water showers for the community. Nosotros en general tratamos de, de que los proyectos que apadrinamos sean sustentables, que puedan ser sostenidos en el tiempo también, y que a la gente beneficiaria le quede el aprendizaje, la enseñanza, como para después que Alliance se corre del proyecto pueda seguir funcionando. Podíamos llegar a un buen acuerdo de cooperación entre Cuandina y Allianz, apadrinando un pueblo solar y de alguna manera utilizando todo el know-how que tenemos en Allianz 
para difundir la iniciativa que, que tomó Ecoandina hace 20 años atrás, cuando empezó a, a desarrollar este tipo de proyectos. The individual cookers for each family are just one project. Another is the community oven. Lo que hace la parábola es calentar detrás por ese orificio, ingresa, calienta, calienta las piedras y calienta el horno en sí. ¿no? Pero las piedras hacen como, como un, un mantenimiento del calor. Entonces, si llega a nublarse por algún motivo, el calor se mantiene hasta que vuelve a salir el sol. Y bueno, se pueden poner tres bandejas acá, este, con cualquier tipo de horneado, sí, no, pizza, no, no, un sí. horno, carne, lo que quieran, ¿no? Y eh, esto lo usa todo el pueblo. Lo puede usar todo el pueblo, porque es comunitario. Como todos los nuestros, sin pretensiones, no es la pretensión que sea el más lindo, el más, este, el más perfecto, sino que sea funcional, funcional. económico y duradero. Este, bueno, y que lo pueda usar cualquiera. This is the village's annual festival. They celebrate the patron saint of their village, San Juan y Oros. Those from nearby villages also travelled for the event, so too did local politicians for the unveiling of a new building with the help of Alliance and Eco Andina. The idea was to help this village offer services for those passing through and charge a modest sum, bringing in some money to this community. And despite the altitude, there was even a football match. Nosotros no nos afecta la altura, pero nosotros estamos aclimatizados en esta altura lo que somos nosotros de acá. No es lo mismo que ir una a Buenos Aires a jugar y nosotros quizá en la cancha sepa quizá no quizá nos cuesta, pero uno de la zona estamos acostumbrados de cómo cómo, cómo enfrentar un equipo de todo lo que somos la zona que vimos la puna. Marino Sánchez is the delegate for the village. He's married to Presentación. El cambio viene de así de cuatro años. Esto de tener todo este equipamiento, digamos, que quizá nos cuestó. Mucha gente no está convencido, pero sí. Al ver la cosa hecha, al ver las cosas que hoy se puede preparar, las cosas que hoy tiene y las cosas que se dan para servir en la mesa, para comer hoy el día, lo que es claro, para compartir, decían la gente se despierta. Across this isolated and remote region, the lives of the people who live here are being transformed as they harness the resource, perhaps really the only resource that they have, which is plentiful. In these solar villages, it's the work of a non-government organization with the support of a private sector. But major international organizations are involved too. In Buenos Aires, Lucia Spinelli coordinates a $200 million World Bank loan to the Argentina Energy Ministry. It's for a project to install solar energy for up to one million people. The isolated nature of these villages is just one challenge. The other challenge that's very important is that it's that once you provide the service, it's important to assure continuity, sustainability. It's not just a question of providing the solar panel or technology. It's a question of providing a service. That means that these very, very isolated people will become users of a public service. You know, so it's also very important because they become users with rights and with obligations. This area has vast potential for solar energy, and there are solar farms around the country but the World Bank project focuses on small-scale projects to produce electricity for local communities. It's important to keep in mind that in these projects we're talking about, we're talking about rural areas and decentralized services. We're not talking about solar energy for the grid, for urban areas. If we talk globally, Argentina has a very, very small participation of renewable energies, no? Solar or wind. But if we talk about isolated areas, remote areas, where people don't have access to the grid, these uh, solar and wind technologies are the ones that allowed us to provide the service because it will be very, very expensive to take a grid to those very isolated areas. Argentina recently passed legislation to increase the renewable energy production by 2017. But the distance from where there is the most sunlight to the electricity grid means this full potential may not be realized.
and yet here young generations are growing up with solar energy as a way of life. With less need for firewood for heating and for cooking, it's benefiting the environment with tree cover lasting longer. The work at Eco Andina continues. For 20 years, Heine Klein Herring has helped projects here. This is a very semi arid area. Uh, we have about 200 300 millimeters of uh, rain in the year. He explained how here a solar powered pump provides water for the local village. You can say, where you have water, there's life. And uh, in these villages that have been uh, nearly abandoned because of uh, less of uh, working, less of uh, water, less of everything, energy, there was no uh, nothing. These projects have helped save these communities. There's drinking water that can be used for agriculture thanks to these initiatives. Families are now staying here rather than leaving for cities. And though they're out of sight, they are leading the way in using renewable energy.